Assalamualaikum to Dr. Azliza and my examiner, Professor Zaida Bendi Ibrahim. My name is Nurafika Binti Mota and today I would like to present my final year project. I am supervised by Madam Siti Nur Kamalia Binti Kamaluddin and my title is Cat Breed Classification System Using Convolutional Neural Network or CNN. Many cat breeds have been born as the species spreads and currently there are 73 breeds of cats registered to the International Cat Association or TICA. Cats feature might be similar between breeds, so image classification can be a challenging task for human naked eyes because the differences can be subtle. In the recent years, CNN have been known for its high accuracy in classifying images, so I will be using this technique to classify breed of cats. Next, I will discuss the problem statement for this project. Cats' behavior and appearances may vary from each other even within the same breed. Being able to classify cat breed can benefit owners to acknowledge their cat's behavior and personality. Other than that, cats, especially purebred or pedigree cats, are known to have inherited issues with their health, especially cats which are born from inbreeding. In this case, classifying cat breed can help owners to take extra care for their cats. Now for the objective of this project, first is to identify the breed of cats. Secondly, to design a CNN architecture that can learn and classify cat's breed. And lastly, is to develop a system to classify cat's breed using CNN. My scope for this project includes that the system can only be accessed through websites using laptops or smartphones. Other than that, as of now, there are only 5 breeds of cats that the system can classify, which are Bengal, Persian, Siamese, Bombay and Sphinx. This project consists of two significance. Firstly, the system is convenient to help users identify the breed of cats. Accurate classification and recognition of cat breed can help cat lovers to identify their personalities and inherit the disorder of the cat. Next, this project can increase understanding of CNN. Better understanding of CNN will assist in gaining the knowledge on the users and also the importance of it. The technique can also be used in future development and research. There are three literatures that I have reviewed and referred for my project. The first one is automatic diagnosis of skin disease using CNN that aims to classify four types of skin disease on human bodies. It used a LexNet model to train 105 images and test on 69 images. Even with the limited number of images, the model obtained 96.32 accuracy in training and 62.1% in testing accuracy. This shows that even though the number of images are small, the model is able to classify the skin disease correctly. The second research title is Cloud Images Classification based on CNN in year 2019. It used two CNN models with 7 and 10 layers. The 7-layer model was able to achieve similar accuracy to 10-layer model. Lastly, image-based classification of steak species using CNN that was conducted in 2019. The objective is to recognize venomous snake species in Indonesia. The classification was done using three CNN models which are shallow model, medium and also deep model. All three CNN models have different layers in it to classify 415 snake images. So the result showed that the medium model achieved the highest accuracy. This is because the shallow architecture has no enough filters to classify images while the deep one has too many filters, those that make it too complex. It can be summarized that CNN has been widely used. Some CNN models achieve high accuracy even though the image dataset are small. From the literature that I have referred, since the CNN model have successfully gained high accuracy in classifying animals, such as the types of snakes, I can apply the use of CNN by using cat images for my project in order to test the its accuracy to determine different types of cat breeds. This project's methodology consists of five phases. The waterfall figure shown has listed all the phases including requirement, design, development, testing and also evaluation. The requirement phase includes preliminary study which I reviewed literature mainly from articles and past research regarding the domain and technique of this project. Data are also obtained in this phase. 
The images are obtained through a website where a group of researchers have collected images of dogs and cats. I have downloaded the dataset and removed the dog images, leaving 2,371 images of cats from 12 breeds. More images have been downloaded to make sure that each breed has exactly 200 images. Then all images undergo spray processing process such as cropping, resizing and augmentation. The second phase is designing where the selection of tools are done and the architecture of the system is designed to develop this project. The tools include OpenCV library and Jupyter Notebook to pre-process the images. Then the CNN model was trained using Keras and TensorFlow on Jupyter Notebook as well. After the best model was safe, it was deployed in the development of the system which used HTML, CSS, Bootstrap and also Flask. Lastly, the system is run through Heroku which is a platform as a service so users can access the web application on their server. There are three models used to train and test the CAD images which are shallow model, medium and also deep model. These models have been referred from a past research called image-based classification of snake species in Indonesia. All three models have different numbers of layers and different size of filter as well. Next phase is development phase where I include all processes. The training and testing was done using Python in Jupyter Notebook while the designing and deploying process was done using HTML, CSS, Flask and Python using Sublime Text Editor. In order to find the best model with high accuracy, there are some tuning done to test the model. Firstly, there are three different CNN models that were tested using two different percentage splits and eight classes of cat breeds. The result shows that the medium model has the highest accuracy. Then the medium model was tested using different number of epochs and the result shows that 50 epochs has the best accuracy. Then the medium model was further trained and tested using different number of cat breeds in 50 epochs. All results were evaluated and documented in the report. The result shows that the medium model achieved its best accuracy with 80-20 percentage splits, 50 epochs and 5 classes of cat breeds. So the model has been chosen to be used for the purebred cat breed classification system using CNN. The picture shows the system is able to classify Siamese with 98% and Bengal with 100% accuracy. So that is all from me. Thank you and have a nice day.